What it is, folks. Let's get it. Yeah. My God, how are you? Chilling, bro. Maintain. How you been? Chilling. Doing the same thing. Maintain out here. Let's go. Understand my feel me? Just grinding. You feel me? Always, always. Yes, Hope sir. Yes, sir. This bitch. I told niggas to tune in. Hopefully, niggas to tune in. No niggas be. Oh, yeah, they will. Definitely. Definitely. That was on. You know, on. get jumping in. Yeah. Um, but anyway, um, you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay. Cool. Anyways, let, let, let's step aside from, from the rap for a sec. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go into this comedy link that you started with, my guy. What made you get into comedy? Where in the world did that come from? That was a whole curveball, my guy. You got that from her right here, but um, that's my my girl told me like you funny and shit. She was just basically like you nice at music and shit, but she was like you just naturally like funny for real, for real. like you could just make people laugh for real. And all oh, growing up, niggas used to tell me I was like class clown funny and shit like that so i just tried it out started making little skits and i got like, motivated by other niggas doing skits and shit like that so i just tried that shit out and mm -hmm. ran with that bitch for, for, for. definitely but yeah, yeah i saw the uh i saw the um the prank the prank the, he tried <laughs> pranking the, the like, yeah um, i got some more of those coming yeah i got more of those coming too yeah definitely <laughs> Yes, sir. So, other than skits, are you going to get into like maybe stand up comedy or any yeah. other lanes of comedy? Yeah, um, my girl, she was telling me I should do stand up. I, I got wrestling material now, probably try that shit out. But yeah, definitely. When I find some open mic nights, I definitely, you catch me up there. Definitely. Definitely catch me up that bitch. Yeah. Other than stand up comedy, I know that you're really a rapper, for real, for real. You have two. You go by two different names though, Quantity the Artist and then Mellow from L R. Yeah. What made you and which one do you go by more? They like both like both forever. I got Mellow from L R basically because I moved down uh W V for a while. And I ain't want niggas knowing mm -hmm. my name out I ain't want niggas knowing my name out there and shit like that. And I always liked the name Mellow growing up because I felt that was like that described me perfectly as a mellow person for real for real. So I just did that out mm -hmm. there. But for real, for the mellow from LR, that's probably better be more of my music name now. And I'm just gonna use the quasi shit for my comedy shit like that. So it's like a, like a playoff, basically. For real, for real, on that type of okay, Like an alias. Yeah, oh, like yes, yes, that type of shit, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And from people who don't know where you're from, because I know you said that you moved down to West Virginia and you didn't want people to like really know where you're from. Where are you from, though? I was exactly. born in yeah, I was born in Baltimore in Cherry Hill and then but I'm like I jumped off the porch and everything out of Columbia, so I'm from Columbia, but I was born in Baltimore though. Yeah. Cherry Hill yeah. West Side, right? Uh South Side, South Side, South Baltimore. South Side. Yeah, South more South toward uh Drew, like Drew Hill Park area. Uh it's close to that, but not like nah, it's like a it's like by Brooklyn, like it's like down by Brooklyn and uh, mm -hmm. like Bethune. I, I grew up on Bethune Road and shit, like Cherry Hills, Bethune Road. It's mm -hmm. like right next to the little Splash Park and shit down there. That's where I grew up. I moved to Park Heights when I was like probably like ten, some shit like that. Then I came straight out here. No, then I moved to Pasadena. I moved to Pasadena, mm -hmm. Maryland. Then I I stayed out there for like a few months, and then I came out here. Yeah. How was life in Baltimore for people who don't really know? Because a lot of people, you know, a lot of people who portray, get that portrayed image of like, oh, it's its own world. It's its own jungle. So like, in your eyes, how was Baltimore like growing up, living there a little bit before you moved out to Howard County? It was fun for real. Like, it was fun. Like, we used to bust the fire hydrants open and like, Play in the street, make our own fun. My mother was like, she was like the queen of the block. And my grandmother, she was like the queen of the block because she used to throw big cookouts and shit. So I used to have all the, mm -hmm. uh, all my men over there who I used to fuck with. Females come up there. They used to throw block parties and shit. Other than that, it was like a typical day. I ain't really like gunshots. You hear gunshots and shit like that. You hear like break-ins. 
shit like that, activity and all that types of shit. But for the most part, it was cool. I had my my differences with with niggas and shit like that. Like we uh got into it some shit like that. But it wasn't like no outrage and shit. It was fun for the most part. For, for real. Mm-hmm. Coming out, I mean, I know you said you had the uh, cookouts, the block parties, everything like that. How was that transition from like more of a lively vibe in Baltimore to a more subtle pace, slower pace Howard County when you came out here? Like, how'd you adjust to that type of feel? It just until it was, it was, it was, it was hard for for. I got like a little whiff of it when I moved to Pasadena because that was like the first time mm-hmm. I was around a lot of Caucasian people, like. I was, that was my first time really being in like a, a white dominant place for real, for real. but I came out here. I didn't really like. It took me a, a, a while to adjust. I don't like meeting new niggas and shit like that. But Howard County is cool. I fuck with. I fuck with Howard County to a certain extent. I fuck with it. It's my. I'm from here, so I fuck with it and shit like that. But I don't know. I had more fun out here. I ain't gonna lie to you. I had more fun out here than Baltimore because I I grew up like when you at the age where you just riding bikes and shit and like. Going to the frozen cup lady show like that. I really had like my real actual fun out here for, for, for. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Explain the fun out here for people who don't know Howard County. <laughs> Go we, be getting it. It. we be getting it in and out here like big parties every week and you already know that for sure. You the party from more like I wish I knew you back in the day for real for real when it came to that shit. <laughs> Definitely like big parties, uh fights, basketball. Mm-hmm. Big basketball games, uh, niggas like me and her, you know, Rico and all. All we really do is just make music, get high all day in the basement, just pack each other all day. Yeah. I don't know. We used to go on little trips, like through the little woods and shit, like find like little mm-hmm. adventures and shit like that, little waterfalls and shit. I used to play. I used to love mm-hmm. music and shit like that. So yeah. fucking, I don't know. I had fun. Like it was fun. I don't know. Yeah. That's what I really can say about it. Yeah. I'm going to go into two points that you mentioned: the fights and the uh, adventures and shit that you in the woods. What's the before? I'm, let me let me ask this one first. What's the craziest adventure that you went on, like in the woods or whatever, just in general? Like like what happened? The, like the wildest wildest shit you like <laughs> adventure. <laughs> so so this one time we like is me. It's like it's like at least like ten of us, like ten we deep and shit. So you walk through the woods and shit. Mm-hmm. It's like it's like I would say like five niggas, five females and shit. So we walk through there and everything. And then this girl, like, she just happened to step on this this crack open like liquor bottle. And that bitch like really went through our <laughs> feet. Like it really went through our foot. Like that shit was like poking out the other end of shit. So she oh, ain't she can't even feel it at first. Cause we like running fast, like we was running. And she had to step on that bitch. Mm-hmm. We had to like carry her, like we had to carry her all the way home. Her shit was like leaking, like you could see the meat, everything coming out of that bitch. We trying to like be passing the blunt at the blunt so she could be cool <laughs> and shit, so she could just chill out and everything. But that was probably like the worst shit I've seen for real, for real. like, cause that shit really went like up that bitch for real, for real. like pretty really straight through that bitch. And that was like probably the craziest shit I've seen, like. It's like we seen this big ass waterfall. We used to slide down that bitch for real, for real. Push, push each other mm-hmm. down the waterfall for real and shit like that. Don't try that shit at home, but yeah, that shit was cool. But that shit was good. So you was a certified EMT for the day. <laughs> yeah, you can say that. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. I know you were talking about. Yeah, another little John to cut you off. Another little John. I was at. I was probably. No, you good. I was probably like uh, eight. Yeah. Eight for seventh grade, eight for seventh grade, and I used to hang out with the older niggas for real, for real. So we had this little mm-hmm. high school party. We cool and shit. My my man at the time, he get drunk and he like pass out, like really full blown, dead on the steps. Like so, like the girls like call the police, call the police. Niggas like nah, we ain't supposed to be here. It's a school day and all that. So just me thinking off watching TV and shit. Like I go to yo like on some real shit and like get your CPR for real, for real. Cause that was like my brother at the time. <laughs> Really like like yeah, like no homo shit, like yeah, that pumping his chest yeah. and all that. He throw all the shit up for real for real. Like like give him some food so he can chill out. Like everybody's on my dick after that, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. 
I just screamed, oh my God, he's a hero. He's that, he's that. I was like, yeah. That's probably one of the craziest shit I've seen too. His eyes was like really rolling back. So it was like scaring me at the same time for I don't want to lose you. So yeah. Definitely. That was probably one of them. You might as well fuck around and get a medical degree. Yeah, might as well. Shit. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah. Might as well. All right, my ass. Now, other than saving people, let's get on to the other hand. You were talking about fights. You got the hands. Because yeah. you know a lot of people like want to. Want to claim they can fight, but carry a pole, and you would rather use a pole than using the fist. So, yeah. so but like, you got the hands. Yeah, I the hands. So, yeah, I was in the city and shit. I ain't gonna lie. I was in the city. I used to get bullied, so it's like I used to be in class, and these two little niggas used to bully me at the school. So I walk home, I used to like talk shit with them. So my uncle, like next time, because I was I ain't had no father at the time, so I ain't had nobody. He showed me how to really like get in the do that shit. So I'm like. He like next time you see them niggas pick up a bottle, crack on side of their shit for real, for real, boom, 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 boom. I ain't do that though, so I just said fuck the body and I'm just fighting them niggas. And ever since then, like I just like kept practice on the fighting shit. So I came out here. A lot of niggas then like I don't know if they was just being immature or they was just didn't like me on top of that. So a lot of niggas used to like try to like play with me on the bus for real, for real, cause I was quiet. Like do a little, you know, back in the day, niggas did a little open neck shit like that. You know that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, skip that shit. I was like, nigga really cracked my shit. Like, really, like, and this back then, I had the little balls cut. So my shit, like, skinny. It really cracked my shit open. So I just get up, lost it. So I really gush, 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 gush. On the bus that you're really, like, getting his shit. I had, like, a few fights with a lot of niggas around my way and shit. But, like, ever since that day, I'm like, niggas is like, they ain't like really want to fight. They didn't want to play with me after that for real, for real. But it wasn't like no love buzz. Mm -hmm. I understand niggas be kids and shit. But I used to I be a lot of niggas up around here, though. A lot of niggas. Like, yeah. Definitely, yeah. But I ain't going to say I'm the best with the hands. I ain't no fighter, but I can get it in the Right. Like, yeah. yeah. Right, right. Let's go into, because you brought up a big subject that, you know, was, is, was, back then and it's still here now and that's bullying how how do you feel about the effects of bullying on people because you know not everyone should get bullied like, nobody should get bullied at all but like it happens nowadays where people are like a, a, a less of an advantage due to the fact that they might be smaller or that they just can't yes. handle the bully so how do you feel about bullying coming from someone who actually did get bullied I just, if you get bullied, my best advice is just to stick up the first time. Like, the next time a nigga mm -hmm. plays you or the female plays you, stick up for yourself. Mm -hmm. Let them know what's up. And then, like, yeah, just always, like, let them know that, like, you ain't going for that. And just, you could talk to, you could talk to somebody if you wanted. That's the type of person. Me, I never really talk to people about it. I just try to, like, handle that shit by myself. But you feel like you need to talk to somebody about that shit. Talk to somebody about your problems, for real, for real. See if, like, any solutions you can do to, like, work around it and everything like that. But I don't really fuck with the bullying and shit. I, like, me, I always been a big kid. So I feel like I ain't really have to right. bring myself to nobody because I knew what I could do, for real, for real. So it's like, but you can't bully, yeah. Like, I don't fuck with that shit. I bully niggas who bully me. Like, you bully me, I'm a bully. Right. That's, like, that's how I'm going to play it. But, yeah, definitely. Mm. That shit for the birds. I should we niggas who bully, they getting their ass beat at home or they got like, self, yeah. like they got self problems they need to fix for real for real. On that type. Oh yeah, I was about to ask that. I was about to ask, like, why do you think people bully? Because like to me, I think it's probably like an insecurity. You feel me? Like That's the people story. are insecure. So they take it out on someone else who can't, you know, really Help pick up for themselves. Like, yeah. That's like, yeah, that's yeah. the biggest one. So niggas, uh... I'm sorry, you going out. I couldn't hear the last part breaking up. You can hear me again? Yeah, yeah. I said some niggas, uh, they just, this is their way of seeking attention on top of that. They want attention for real, for real. Shit like that, but... Mm -hmm. It's mostly like what you said, for real, for real. Like, they, like, something going on that they don't know how to get it off their chest the way they're supposed to get it off their chest for real, for real. And yeah, that type of shit. That's cool. That's cool. So other than, um, you know, 
background. I know you dropped a lot of singles. You have music with Tay Brown. You have music with Rick Rustin. Are any albums coming on the way? Because, I mean, I saw that you have no albums out. So are you going to drop some soon? Any debut date for us? I've been think like, I want to drop, like, an album. I do want to drop an album. I want that bitch to be perfectly engineered, perfectly, like, mm -hmm. All the beats, mine, and all that shit. Cause the, I bought some beats in the past, and I like sampled some beats and like type beats and shit like that. But I, yeah, I have an album coming up definitely. Like if anything, I definitely have an album about my birthday, my birthday in June. So if anything around that time, you should expect one. I probably have like 12, 14 songs on that bitch and like a few features for real, for real. I'm trying to work with a couple of niggas from around the way for real, for real. I'm gonna see what they type time uh -huh. that shit. But yeah. See what's up for real, for real. If it, I've been really what local art? Oh, you say what you saying? So what you say? What you say? I couldn't hear the last part. What were you saying? I was I've been before. I was video. I've been focused on the videos for real, for real. Like mm. get the visuals out there so niggas can like see where I'm coming from. But the album will be here soon though. Who are you working with in the uh, videographer? My man Timmy Flicks. Go follow yo. Timmy Flex, T I M M Y F L I C K Z. He be uh him and uh Taylor. I ain't gonna lie to him and Taylor be doing the videos for real because Taylor like he shoot a lot of the videos. Niggas be saying he shot them bitches himself or he did it with uh my man Tim I was talking about. So then I fuck with mm -hmm. him. I fuck with uh my man Mace Zach Visions. He shot my last video for uh, my habits freestyle. I fuck with uh. If you shit hard, I fuck with you for real, for real. If you shit hard, I fuck with you for real, for real. But those are like the biggest two, them two. Now, creating a visual, I know it takes a lot of thought behind producing a visual. What can we see in your visuals or your upcoming visuals that you want done? Is it going to like portray a story? Is it going to be more of a lit vibe video? Like, what do you have coming? What's in store? Probably a lot more family shit. Like, a lot of, like, mm -hmm. when I came home, like, I don't really, like, showing my personal life to the world. But, like, niggas don't make me know that I got kids sometimes and shit like that. So, like, like even my girl, she sang and shit. So, like, like she, I'm going to have her out there when she want to do her shit. Show more of my, my kids, my brothers, my sisters, like, my real family. Like, be more, like, my like homebody with it for real, for real. Uh, a lot of growth. Um, better be on my suit and tie shit more. Like I know a lot of niggas hear my music, they hear like a lot of like like bad shit and shit like that. So I'm definitely gonna switch it up, be on the more like talking like how like some personal shit for real, for real. But yeah. Mm -hmm. You have a boy or girl? I got a girl and twin boys. I got three kids. Wow, wow. Congratulations, my guy. Yeah, my son just turned uh, three yesterday. They just turned three. Congratulations. Happy belated birthday to him. Appreciate no it. No problem. Explain the importance of being a father or a father figure, a good role model to your kids. For me, that shit, like, it plays, like, it touched home with me for real, for real, because I ain't had no father. <laughs> and I ain't had no mother. So it's like, like, I really just, like, my daughter, like, that's, like, my love of my life. That's, like, that's, like, my best friend for her, for her. Like, we just be, like, uh -huh. we be vibe. Just try to teach her, like, basically, like, to conduct yourself as a woman at a young age and basically, like, focus on school. I try to, like, teach her more about school a lot because, like, a lot of niggas, and, a lot of people, they teach me about school, take it as important as I should. Like, but teach her, like, basically be, like, get her education, like, respect, um, just how to conduct yourself from, like all around the board is for real, for real, like that. Shit like that, for real, for real. <laughs> and my son, like, we won't have, we won't have them talks, because I got two of them too, so that's definitely going to be a hard one for me. But they, like, they still get into the, <laughs> to the age when they start to talk. So once they start talking, talking, I'm really going to, like, have some deep conversation with them. But then for right now, I'm just watching them grow for real, for real. Just, just watching uh -huh. from, and just watching them, see, see who they is for real, for real. Shit like that. Uh -huh. That's that's cool. Is it is it interesting 
when you have a kid watching them grow up versus you grow up? Because I know it's like a whole total different like perspective. Where like you're seeing a whole human being growing up versus yourself. Where like you don't see yourself growing up. You do, but like you don't really see it like how you see someone else being brought up. Um, I like seeing them grow up because like they more like they more. I can see the innocence in them. Basically, like, I like just, like, I love seeing them grow because they just smile. I like seeing, like, seeing them happy for real, for real. Because I feel like I mm-hmm. smile a lot as a child. But I feel like, I just like seeing them smile, just ask me these stupid questions and shit like that. It should be, be mm-hmm. like That's good. What type of father are you going to be? When they get to that age and they're gonna start like she's bringing the nigga inside and trying to bring a nigga through, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know it was coming. Hey, yo, I ain't even gonna lie. I be, I be thinking about the days, yo. I be thinking about, cause she the oldest too, so she gonna be there soon. And shit, so like, yeah, she gonna be there first before the other two. Before and you just gonna be like, yo, like yeah. that. She gonna be like, dad, yo, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to bring my boyfriend up. And you gonna be like, nigga, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, what kind of father you gonna be? Yeah, um, I don't know. Yeah, that's a tricky one. Like, I'm gonna be 50 50 with it for real. For like, I'm gonna see what a, what a nigga coming from for real. For real. Teach him, like, basically, like, I can, yeah, I'm off the jump. I'm gonna see if he already know how to conduct himself as a man. And is he really just looking for, right, just to like do something with my kid for real? But if I see, like, he on some. So shit, I'm just gonna be on game for real, for real, and just tell her to basically like conduct yourself as a woman and like don't be doing that, yeah, until you're ready and shit like that. For mm-hmm. real. Basically, yeah. That's so, good that you say you're gonna be 50 50 about it because a lot of probably most people, like most guys who have probably a daughter or will have a daughter or end up having a daughter, you'd be like, oh, I might shoot that nigga, but like that's gonna be that's not always a good thing because that's gonna be bad for the daughter you feel me like if they can't like trust their father enough for, of, like of bringing a guy through the crib so the fact that you said you're going to be 50 50 about it to see what type of person he is shows that at least you're showing that you, you're going to give him a chance you know what i'm saying yeah and that I builds want, a good relationship between you and your daughter yeah definitely because i wanted to get like i don't want like for my the girl I with, my uh, the mother of my children, like I know how mm-hmm. they parents look at look at me for for so it's like I can't I don't want, I don't judge I ain't gonna judge a nigga because I never know where he coming from for for and then again I don't want to draw my daughter away at the same time like you said so it's like it worked out both ways for her. Mm. My bad, sorry, my I'm bad. sorry, breaking up. I couldn't hear the last part you were saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What were you saying again? You can see me now? Yeah, I can hear you. What were you saying? Basically, like, I'm going to just, like, yeah, like you said, talk to him like a man, make sure my daughter, like, she doing what she needs to do. Mm-hmm. And, like, yeah, just go from there for real, for real. Mm-hmm. Off the jump, if I see, feel like the nigga on some other shit, I'm just going to let it know up front and be like, he ain't it. You can do what you want to do mm-hmm. for real, real. I'm gonna watch him and shit like that. But I'm just let you know mm-hmm. he, ain't, he ain't it. So, yeah, definitely. That's cool. other than comedian, being a comedian, other than music, and then other than being, being a good father too to your kids. What else do you like to do in your downtime? I know you meant said family means a lot to you. Well, I be cool, man. You know, I catch me out there. Mm-hmm. I be giving niggas buckets for real, for real. Like Brandon, you think Brandon you can give a bucket? Yeah, Brandon Willis. He'll tell you. I, I seen him. He nice though. He nice, but I give Brandon a bucket. <laughs> uh, fuck think- that. Definitely, definitely. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, uh, bro. I'm- I, I ain't gonna like. Was some- <laughs> I'm probably like top five off this bitch. Like anybody like we grew up with that we know through people, I, I count myself as like top five. Bro, I won't let you pass the half court line. <laughs> you too little for like, me. Like on, every, on too... everything, I'm not letting you pass the half court line. You might, you got... you, the closest you're gonna get to the hoop is the three point line. You got straps? 
You got straps. I got straps and I got game, bro. That's and I'm gonna put you on wheels too, bro. I feel for that. real, for real. I'm gonna put I'm you on skates. <laughs> I'm different, yo. I ain't gonna lie. I'm different. Like that basketball. Right, what, we gotta play. What, right, what makes you different? <sighs> Like niggas be nice. Don't get me wrong. Niggas be nice. I mean, niggas be nice. But my like, if I really would have took basketball seriously and shit, like when I had the chance, I'm like, I have a different mentality when it. Hoop. I just didn't bring it up back then because like, it was just a lot of shit going on. I didn't know how to like. It was like a lot of depression too on top of that. But me it makes me nice. It's just I study a lot of players and like, I be like, when I'm out there, it's just like I really take mm-hmm. that shit seriously. Like one on one game, like. Even if you yeah. take it seriously, I understand that. But niggas know, yo. I ain't gonna lie. Niggas know. We go to when niggas go to Supreme. They picking me up, like they be like I got shorty. I'm like, yeah, we winning already, definitely. We in a bit. Can you dunk? You got bounce? Come on, Ramsey. Listen, I'm hard. <laughs> I'm hard. <laughs> like, yeah, I can dunk like. I ain't got no like crazy ass package, but I can do like the mm-hmm. little boom. I can throw it off the back, but I can do the behind the back. I can't windmill yet. I'm trying to get the windmill mm-hmm. in the East Bay down. Once I get those two down, it's over. Mm-hmm. What did that is? Man, I gotta make sure. I, I I had to give had to go through a little checklist. You feel me to make sure you actually legit. Cause you know a lot of niggas be like, "Oh, I'm nice and shit," but then get on the court, can't even dribble or make a layup. You feel me? What do you need? But we definitely got a hoop. We got me and you got hoop sometime for real. Yeah, definitely. We gotta go to Supreme or some shit. Where you be at? Where you be hooping at? You gotta come out Laurel, where the real bump is. You feel me? I'm not trying. You said, oh, I be all over, like for real, for real. Yeah, like you gotta come out lower for real. I be all over though. Like some, if you want some good bump though, you feel me? You gotta go out like PG or like inner Baltimore. You feel me? I used to hoop at uh, I don't know. You know the Boys and Girls Club? I think uh, it's Lower like, Boys and Girls Club. Yeah, the Lower Boys and Girls. Oh I used yeah. To hoop. yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good. That's a good one. You got, you got. Run and shoot or Capital Hoop Complex out out um Forestville PG. You feel mm-hmm. me? Then you can go to the inner city and like the beat like where the old BNDL league was out in Bentlow, Bentlow, yes. Baltimore, and Bamford. Like you feel me? Then you can go out Anne Arundel County, the Dorsey Run. They they got the lights and everything. You feel me? So people be out there too. So it's a, it's a lot of good. The DMV all, has a lot of good basketball players. You feel me? Yeah, in we general, yeah, I feel we like definitely. we produce a lot of good players out here. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. For sure. We gotta get it in though. Definitely. Oh, yeah, we're gonna get it in. Definitely. Oh yeah, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna we gonna hoop sometimes for sure, for sure. Yeah. Other than hooping, what else do you like doing on your downtime, bro? Uh I be drawing. I like I'm very like not the greatest, but I'm like very well at making like making art. I'm I'm definitely decent. Uh mm-hmm. I watch uh I know my <laughs> girl you say what kind of art? I know you said drawing, but art is very broad, you know. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I be doing a lot of abstract shit, like a lot of abstract mm-hmm. art. Uh, like I just like I'll draw something, and then I like, mm-hmm. like I'll just play off of it and like just make different shit like hang, like pop off of it and shit like that. But I used to draw like a lot of bases growing up, like. Mm-hmm. Look like, at the scenery. See, I do the scenery shit sometimes. I ain't did that shit in a while. Though. But yeah, favorite artist, if My, you have one, myself. Hmm? <laughs> myself. <laughs> That's always a good one. <laughs> That's a good. One. But uh, yeah, I probably just say myself. Like, I can't really. I don't know the names of niggas for referral, unless you want to say like some Picasso or some shit. Mm-hmm. Like but I don't really like. I ain't never really studied them niggas. So yeah, I just say myself. But it's a, it's a lot of nice yeah. artists out here. Though. Yeah. Would you go to an art school? Yeah, if they gonna pay for that bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I go. Yeah, I go to one. Yeah. Um, if anything, I would do tattooing, like for real, for real. Like mm-hmm. I, would, I would do that. Like I would just do that for real. 
It's that light drawn and shit. That type of shit, but yeah. I'll go to art school though. Yeah, yeah. Other than other than art, music, comedian, what's the plan? What what what's up next? What you what do you have coming for it for your fans out there? Because I know you got a lot of streams stream play out West Virginia as well. Like it was hot out there, so people are waiting for something to come. So what's what's the next move? Uh, before we wrap up this, interview? a lot of skits, a lot of skits. I'm mean, like really take that shit to the next level. Like you're gonna see like uh -huh. you're gonna see like characters and like. I like really like got like a story behind them bitches for real, for real. Um, uh -huh. Guess a lot of music for real, for real. Do a lot of videos. Some a lot of features will come for real, for real. Probably get some like. I probably my goal is probably to get like a good up and coming mainstream person that I fuck with to do a feature with when that shit play out. Uh -huh. um, And uh, you see a lot of my daughter coming up. I'm gonna get her shit popping. She like, like she gonna be a star. So and her, yeah, definitely. A lot of like vlogs with me and my daughter, like daddy and uh -huh. daddy, some shit. I ain't already thinking a name for real, but some shit like that. Definitely. You see me. That's cool. Yeah. That's real cool. What are you? What are you and your daughter gonna have? I know you said the vlogs. Well, like, what kind of vlogs? She she had a great imagination, so she liked to like play house. She liked to play house. She liked to she liked to um, she liked to play basketball too. I ain't I'm fuck with her on that too. So hooping. Uh, you better watch out. She gonna cross you up one day. She might. I ain't lying. She might. She <laughs> might. She might. But she gonna get you before she get me though. She gonna get you. Before she get I don't me. know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make sure she gets you first. <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna watch out for shit like that. She could, uh, yeah, I'm investing. I want to see a lot of her this year, a lot of her for, mm -hmm. for bring her out to the world and shit like that. But probably those three things, and then anything between that, you just have to wait and see for real. For Where can people find you? Like uh, your uh, your music, my old music. That I had before is mm -hmm. on the quantitative artists, like for other my old shit, but my new shit is Mellow from LR. And that got like my new shit with like No Dribble, the 187s, and the Taylors, and all that, that new shit. Uh, Instagram, Mellow from LR. Twitter, Mellow from LR. Uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. All right. I appreciate you coming on the show. This was a good talk, man. I appreciate you having me, bro. Appreciate you. No problem. It's for Open Ears channel, you feel me? The hottest upcoming podcast coming up out the DMV, you feel me? You already know. Let's get it. Let's get it. We're going we gonna to wrap. We're going we, we gonna to do one a, a year from now and to see where niggas progressed, how yeah. niggas progressed over the years. I hope you too. All right, bro. Got you, bro. You said what? I said, I hope you touch that goal. How much you going to touch this year? I hope you touch that goal. I'm trying. I'm trying. Yeah. Steady progress, bro. Yeah, Steady definitely. progress. You going to get that but shit. But it's going to happen. It's going to get that shit. Definitely. For sure. I'm going to holler at you. Appreciate you. All right, bro.